Lord, prepare us to receive your word. Clear our minds and warm our hearts. Assure us of your loving purposes for us and speak into our lives today. Amen. Today's story devotion is Famous Monkey's Last Words and it's one of the Jungle Doctor, Dr Paul White's fables. Famous Monkey's Last Words Toto the monkey was sitting up in a tree trying very hard to listen to his teacher, Twigger the giraffe. But it wasn't easy. His toes were itchy and he wanted to play with butterflies. Twigger said firmly, you must listen, Toto. It's very important to learn three special rules. One day they could save your life. Tigger yawned, but Twigger said earnestly, Life is often dangerous and you must know these rules. Obey the laws of the jungle and you'll be safe. Disobey them and you'll be in trouble. I know the first already, boasted Toto. If you smell a leopard, climb a tree and get out on a thin limb. Twigger nodded. Good. And the second one says... Don't stand at the back of a zebra. But, said Toto, I haven't even seen a zebra. You will soon, said Twigger. Remember, especially, never stand at the back of a zebra. Why? asked Toto. If a zebra kicks you, it will hurt and hurt, said Twigger. Wow! I wouldn't like that, laughed little monkey. And Twigger, what's the third rule? Don't look into a snake's eyes. Now can you tell me the three jungle rules, Toto? If I tell you them all, can I go and play? Twigger nodded. I can do it, said Toto. One. If I smell a leopard, I go up a tree and climb out on a very thin limb. Two, don't stand at the back of a zebra. Three, don't look into a snake's eyes. See, I know them. Good, said Twigger. Now remember them and do them. You may go and play now. Toto was having fun swinging on jungle vines. He heard a deep voice. Mmm, good morning, monkey. Hello, Boohoo. Have you ever seen a zebra? Hippo nodded his large head. Mmm, yes. A black horse with white stripes. Or is it a white horse with black stripes? It's hard to remember. Toto laughed. Do you know where one is? Mm, um, yes. If you're very quiet, I will show you. Mm, oh, how splendid. Look over there. Monkey was delighted. So that's a zebra. Does he bite? Oh, no, Toto. He's very quiet animal, really. It isn't his teeth you have to keep away from, it's his back feet. Does he run very fast, Boohoo? I don't know, said Hippo slowly. Can he go as fast as Giraffe? I don't know, said Hippo. Monkey was excited. Let's make him run and find out. Watch him go, Boohoo. Hippo gasped. Put down those horns, some Toto. Stop it at once. Oh, I can't bear to look. Watch this, boo-hoo. Two flying hooves hit him. Whack! He sailed through the air and landed. Thud! Boo-hoo went over to Toto. Oh, are you all right? There was no answer. Uh, Toto, speak to me. 
Monkey opened his eyes and groaned. Oh, you were kicked by a zebra. Oh, I will call Twigger. He will know what to do. Mm, I'll hurry. Toto sat sadly holding his head. There was a swishing noise behind him. A soft voice said, Is something the matter? Yes, mumbled Toto. A silly zebra kicked me. I'm sorry to hear that, said the voice. I can't see you, groaned Toto. My eyes are funny and my head aches and aches. I'll come closer then. Now can you see me? Toto blinked. Stop swaying about like that. Who are you? I'm the snake. You really are sick. Let me hold you tight. Look into my eyes. Gaze into them. You feel so sleepy. Little monkey yawned. So shut your eyes and sleep now. Twigger and Boohoo came running up. Giraffe said, Snake has put Toto to sleep. Snake, don't you hurt that monkey. Boohoo called loudly. Snake hissed, Go away or I'll bite you. You'll bite me, eh? chuckled Boohoo. You aren't the only one who can bite. Would you like me to show you? Snake wiggled off as fast as he could go. Twigger spoke gently to Monkey. Wake up. What's happening? said Toto. You've been doing what I told you not to do. You looked into his eyes. Snake nearly had you for his dinner. He seemed so friendly, said Toto. Was he, said Twigger. Tell me, what is the third rule of the jungle? I remember now, said Toto softly. I didn't do what I was told. Sorry. Jesus means God saves. This tells us who he is and what he does. The way to eternal life is to trust him and to obey him. People who love God obey him. Jesus himself said, if you love me, do what I tell you. Just a little background on the author of this story that you might find interesting. Dr. Paul White was an Australian missionary, evangelist, radio program host and author who with his wife served as missionaries in what is now Tanzania, Tanzania, Africa with the Church Missionary Society. On his return to Australia, he went on to write Jungle Doctor, the first in an extensive series bearing the same name, which have been translated into more than 80 languages. At the same time, he began his Jungle Doctor radio program, which he continued for 25 years. Many of the Jungle Doctor fables by Dr. Paul White can be viewed on YouTube, including this one. Stories offer, often offer more than one lesson for us, and the Jungle Doctor fables are among those which do so. This story was written to teach us about obedience, but with this latest reading of this story, I reflected on how often when we read the scriptures together, we wonder what the point of some of it is, especially when you are reading through the lengthy details of some Old Testament books. And as I reflected, I, I thought to myself that really, given the time and context of the times of the people, that were live, the people were living in when these restrictions or rules, we might call them, were placed on them, that God was saying that by obeying them, they would not only keep themselves spiritually healthy, 
but in many cases it would also ensure physical health to a certain degree. I began to see that how, ama how about how, that how amazing God is that what at times may seem restrictive and unnecessary is actually providing us with opportunities to be spiritually healthy. I have way more time to spend with God at present, but also in obeying the restrictions we have imposed on us at this present time. This also means that we can look after our physical health as well. Our God cares about both. And both require us as Toto learnt to practice obedience. To not just know something, but to remember it and to do it. Let us pray. We admit we don't always find being obedient pleasant or easy. But in those times, help us to remember that obedience to your ways is good for our spiritual and physical health. As you care for us and your whole creation. Amen.